Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Today, long-awaited Matrix 4 news and just Matrix Universe news. Uh, I've been asked about Matrix news plenty recently, uh, and now I can actually bring you some, so I'm really, really happy about that. So, to everyone that's been asking me for Matrix news, here you go. Two different Matrix projects are underway uh, at Warner Brothers. They're fully in development. Now, this isn't just something which has been pulled out of the ether. This is confirmed over on Twitter by the screenwriter hired by Warner Brothers for a Matrix project. So, Zach Penn, well-known, I guess, uh, screenwriter, has confirmed over on Twitter. Key, uh, people keep asking, so let me clarify. There are two different Matrix projects at Warner Brothers. I wrote one set earlier in the timeline of the Matrix universe, and Lana Wachowski is directing a sequel that I did not work on, but can't wait to see. Neither of them are reboots. Hashtag not a reboot. If you don't follow me on Twitter, please do. At Mr. H Reviews. Keep up to date on my nonsense. Now, this actually seems to confirm my earlier thoughts and theories. Linked in this video here, I... I went on record and said I genuinely believe that there are two films underway because and we'll explore it in this video so it will be a little bit long but the timeline of events lends itself to there being two projects it, it just seemed to confirm it to me it made absolute sense we have a project set to begin filming under project ice cream that was early 2020 so next year. And then we'd already had announced uh, Lana Wachowski working on The Matrix 4, a sequel to the trilogy of films. Um, so we'll explore the timeline. Like I said, it'll be a little bit of a long video because I want to kind of piece it together for everyone. But it's confirmed. Two Matrix projects are underway. Two different Matrix projects. Uh, now, Lana Wachowski is not the... Lana and Lily Wachowski, apparently it's just Lana Wachowski. Uh, for those somewhat confused by that, uh, the Wachowskis transitioned, basically. Um, so, there you go. Um, Zach Penn has revealed that Warner Brothers is active, actively developing two The Matrix projects. Fans of the franchise were blown away in August when it was officially announced that Lana Wachowski was on board both writing and directing The Matrix 4. In addition, it was also revealed that original stars Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss are returning to reprise their roles as Neo and Trinity. No Lawrence Fishburne, though. And there is some confusion about that, but I think that lends itself to the other project that's underway earlier in the timeline. Because a lot of people are confusing the Michael B. Jordan rumoured project to be this project. But I think, and we'll get to that in a second, that is the earlier in the timeline project project i think what michael b jordan is going to be doing is playing a young lawrence fishburne he might not be that's just my own thoughts and theories on it and the reason why so let me justify that to you all is that if you're looking at prequels you have nine times out of ten a movie studio it's not the right way to do it by the way but a movie studio will always get a a character that you know to to pull you into the story so if you, you're setting this earlier in the timeline a young Morpheus, Michael B. Jordan, would make sense. Now, I'm not saying that's the right way to go, but we know that studios do these things. So I think that's where people are getting confused because that's where the initial rumours started of any Matrix project was the Michael B. Jordan one. That's, that's the earliest rumours we have. And then further afterwards, we had Lana Wachowski's uh, Matrix 4 confirmed with no Morpheus currently. So anyway, it continues. Uh, nearly two years ago, Zach Penn revealed that he was working on something in the Matrix universe that we did not specify what it was. With that being said, it's not going to be a remake or a reboot, which should put some fans at ease. Again, Michael B. Jordan was rumoured for this particular project. So obviously, this is what he said. We've already read that out. And it goes on, it doesn't sound like Zach Penn can say a whole lot about his Matrix project, but we at least know that it takes place earlier in the timeline and that it will not be a reboot. The writer has said that he harassed Warner Brothers about getting the franchise off of the ground again. Instead of rebooting, Penn revealed that he wanted to expand the Matrix universe, which seems to still be the case and something he's still excited about. Now, this is where I think people are getting their wires crossed. And I could be completely wrong. Trust me, I could be completely wrong. But I just think when we look at the timeline of events it starts to make sense 
As for Lana Wachowski's Matrix 4 movie, it's unclear what that will be at this time. Just last week it was revealed that the production is looking for an actor to, put, to portray a young version of Keanu Reeves. Why? The irony, ladies and gentlemen. One, we have digital de-aging, but secondly, Keanu Reeves doesn't look older. He is the ageless man. The, the absolute... The hilarity of this. We have the <laughs> the only actor that could possibly pull off playing a younger version of himself isn't playing a younger version of himself. <laughs> Keanu Reeves is ageless. Just get him to play a young version of himself. It would work. It would make sense. <laughs> uh, so it says the production is looking to work with a lot of the same crew and artists that worked on the first installments to keep everything uniform, which is great. We have uh, Chad Stileski, the stunt coordinator on board, I believe. Uh, cinematographers, uh, concept artists, so on and so forth. Now, this is where I think the, the wires are getting crossed. So it says Matrix 4 will reportedly also bring back a young Morpheus 2. It's not reported. It was reported earlier before Matrix 4 was announced that there is a, like a young Morpheus Matrix movie in the works, which I think is, is the other Matrix movie. So it says, though that has not been officially confirmed at this time, when asked about the upcoming sequel, Keanu Reeves only said that it is very ambitious, and that's pretty vague, but that's how things have to be for now as Lana Wachowski puts the finishing touches on the script and prepares for production. While casting is uh, is already underway, we can see that the movie's starting pretty soon. As for Zach Penn's Matrix project, it's unclear where in the development phase that one is. You can check out Zach Penn's clarification below. So that's we've already read this. Now, if we start to look at the timeline, so... This was in September. So this one in particular was actually revealed uh, like a really, really long time ago. We had this here. This is in June uh, of 20... June June 22nd, 2019. And this one in particular says how... This is the initial reporting anyway. That a Matrix project was being filmed under Project Ice Cream. Now at that point, it didn't... We didn't really have confirmation they were on board. This was kind of just rumours, I think, because we had we had Chad Stileski talking about it, and then Production Weekly seemed to have confirmed it as well with this. Uh, well, we had the earlier June one. Uh, we had October, and then June, and then this is in September. September actually confirms that Matrix 4, let me just shift this over here, Matrix 4, working title, Project Ice Cream. Now that's essentially confirmation that Matrix 4 is the uh, Project Ice Cream working title, which was previously discussed in here, but not the movie that Michael B. Jordan was attached to, or that Michael B. Jordan was rumoured to be attached to. So, I believe... That there are is two movies. So here we go. We've got plot details are currently under wraps for the film. However, we have heard from sources that it may that it may be another entry into the Matrix franchise. Given the only other Matrix film in development currently is Michael B. Jordan's Matrix film that will focus on a young Morpheus. <coughs> Morbius, that's hilarious. It's possible they could be taking the directing reins on that film. But we know that's not the case now. Or at least we know that Michael B. Jordan isn't announced for Matrix 4. But we know the rumours are still there. And we know that Matrix, the Project Ice Cream film, is the Matrix 4. We know that. That's confirmed. But we don't know what Michael B. Jordan's film is. However, all of the rumours about Michael B. Jordan in a Matrix movie came long before Project Ice Cream. Long before this confirmation of Matrix 4 and anything along those lines. So, Michael B. Jordan movie, I think, yeah, he is probably playing a young Morpheus, and I think we're just getting a prequel to The Matrix, following on how Morpheus got into, well, removed himself from The Matrix and became the kind of figurehead of, oh, I guess, like a cult <laughs> over, in, uh, over in the real world. Because it just wouldn't make sense otherwise. We know there's two movies. Now, these rumours come from somewhere. They don't just come from nowhere. They are from somewhere so there you go that's kind of a a drawn out discussion well it's not drawn out but it's a it's a long windy road uh, to get to this end product but you can kind of see why that's my thinking um like i say it's it's already confirmed that we are getting 
uh, two projects. One, Project Ice Cream, which was previously thought to be Michael B. Jordan's Matrix film, is now confirmed to be The Matrix 4. Michael B. Jordan rumors came from somewhere. They don't come from nowhere. We already know that there's definitely two movies in the works. One is absolutely set earlier in the timeline, and one is this Matrix 4. So there you go. There's a uh, there's a, a big, big, big update. What do you think? Let me know down below in the comments. If you're new here, make sure you do hit subscribe. You can set up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Thank you so much for all of your continued support. It really does mean the world to me. If you do want to take your support just a little bit further, I've got merch underneath every single video and also Patreon link down below in the description box. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, have a Mr. H. Take care.